Yes, my good people, welcome again to my channel. And of course, today I'm with the same, same amazing and some gentleman from Nyabo Anze. Why are you smiling? It's my nature. It's, it's your weakness. It's my, it's my nature, you know. <laughs> I always smile even when I'm sad. Uh. That's the situation with me. I don't know what's happening with me, but... Uh. Uh, they usually tell me, Claude, why are you always smiling? You have a wide smile. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, uh -huh. I'm shrubbing. A killing smile. <laughs> oh my God, don't make me to be like, ah. Anyway, so guys, uh, yesterday I promised you we were to come with party two. And thanks to our subscribers, thanks to our family who has been supporting me. And guys, let me say thank you, uh, Claude Joseph. You know, sometimes when we do collab, not everyone can share your link. Absolutely. But I saw you, you shared. Thank May God bless you. It means a lot to me. I understand. Yes, you understand. Yes. Okay, especially now we are changing. You know, transitioning uh, from one content to another. For it's sure. kind of difficult. Sure. You understand. Yeah, yeah, anyway, you, you get it. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I'm happy. I've seen so many support from you guys saying, simply, you know what? You are doing a good job. And that's why, guys, I'm here. I promised it to you, like, I'm going to come back again with party two. So today we just want to know more about... Uh, Crowd Joseph, how he grew up and how he started his YouTube journey. Now, Crowd Joseph, yes. welcome again. Tell us more about you, yes. how you grew up, how you schooled, and how you started your YouTube channel. Uh, what's up, guys? Let me introduce myself for the new subscribers because I believe each and every single day we usually receive new subscribers, yes. which is a good thing. Sure. And we are back like we never left. left yes. All right. So, it's a brand new day. Mm -hmm. I give my gratitude, thanks to Almighty God for mm -hmm. the good life that He has granted me this morning. Mm -hmm. And for now, I'm, I'm 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 happy. I'm healthy. I'm, you know, I can speak. I can converse in a good way. Yes. In which the last time I was kind of weak because I was yeah, sick. You were sick. So this yeah. time I give much thanks to Almighty wow. God for the good life that He has granted to thanks me. To God. And uh, my second gratitude goes to our subscribers mm -hmm. who always support us by watching and never skipping the ads yes and also for all the viewers mm -hmm. who view and uh, leave also a, a comment yes. and tell us oh this we are doing a good job yeah. or you have to do this and this mm -hmm. because we are like a football yeah we are in the pitch we are like players yes. and the spectators are our subscribers they tell us do this mm -hmm. do this kick the ball on the right side uh -huh. if you give the center and the striker will strike into the goal like yesterday you yes. saw a sent you a screenshot how our fan was saying i was like oh man it's okay <laughs> but uh, it's a, i thank god yes so guys uh, my name is cloud joseph mm -hmm. my real name is uh, joseph mokami cloud mm -hmm. and i ventured into cloud joseph because mm -hmm. i had to interchange so that i can come up with uh, an artistic name mm -hmm. and uh, i also wanted to keep my dad's name alive wow. because cloud is my dad's name mm -hmm. i wanted to keep it alive because he's the only son and child to the family that he came from. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> the only. The only son and daughter. Oh him, my him, God. him. I think it's like me. All right. Yeah. So he's him from the family that uh -huh. he grew up from. Uh -huh. So I was like, let me put his name to the, to the limelight or to yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm a boy who was born and raised in Nyabohanse. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I've schooled in Nyabohanse. And uh, I'm working in Nyambuhanse, but sometimes my, my work is mobile. I thank God that my job is mobile yes. <laughs> because I can work from anywhere I want. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That is a plus for me. Yeah. So uh, I'm a boy who was born in a humble background mm -hmm. in uh, the little village mm -hmm. in East Africa, Kenya. Nyabohansi to be specific, mm -hmm. by a mom. I almost killed my mom. They usually tell me I almost killed my mom when I was young. What? Yes. How? I was I was overweight and I was very oh. big, so maybe it was a a, a symbol that mm -hmm. I wanna be big also. Yeah, sure. So uh, things has been moving on smoothly since I was born. I was told I used to be this guy who was I never wanted to grow with my parents, but I used to grow with 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 grand people yeah. you know the ones who Old are ones. aged yeah. aged you know mm -hmm. so they used to tell me i used to leave home when i was young around around four mm -hmm. i used to live and, and there's a mom who grew me up like used to take good care of me mm -hmm. she was very old mm -hmm. and she gifted me a, a a chicken that i grew up to nine years seeing the chicken wow 
Yes. That chicken, like, disease could come, uh -huh. kill all the chicken in the village, uh -huh. and that chicken could be left. Wow. So I never knew what kind of a chicken it was. Blessing. And when we also slaughtered that chicken, mm -hmm. actually because it, it started growing old, yeah. old and it yes. started growing now meat coming yeah, outside. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we decided to slaughter it. Mm -hmm. So to cut the long story short, uh, I school in Reverend David Duveskog. Uh -huh. It's a nearby school in Nyabohanse. Uh -huh. And I can regard myself, I wasn't that much bright. Uh -huh. But as time go goes by, I became more bright. Wow, yes. amazing. <laughs> I used to be this guy who could be number two uh -huh. from behind. From <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You, you, because I used to have a cousin who is recently is late. Uh -huh. May, may his and soul rest, rest in, in peace. peace yes. uh, you used like to have, you know, like this, this games mm -hmm. of uh, you as as kids. Yes. So we are coming from home with uniform, uh -huh. reaching at ho at the at the middle of the road to mm -hmm. school. We change. We go to a certain place. Mm -hmm. We go. We used to have a very big uh, a sugarcane plantation yes. in around the village. Uh -huh. So we used to go in the sugarcane. We eat, and when we see it's lunch time, we come back home. Wow. So when exam comes, uh -huh. I should sit for exam, uh -huh. and what I could score. Uh -huh. It's it's not it's not too far from zero. <laughs> it's just a zero distance from zero. So, <laughs> so I could be the last person, the uh, second last person. Oh and God. the trick was uh, people used to be called from behind going yeah, to talk fast. Oh. So there's I was there's this day that I was called uh now number one from behind. I never knew who was so I thought it was number one. Joseph Mokami Cloud. I was like, man, I scored zero. One. How am oh. I becoming number one? Uh. I ran, starting to greet. You know, you have to greet teachers. Uh. So there was a madam who slapped me and told me, you failed terribly and you're coming, you're to, coming greet to greet me. me. I was like, oh man, so I'm number last. From that day, mm -hmm. it's when now things changed. I realized myself because the slap waking me up. That, that time you were in, in secondary school? Primary school. Primary school. Grade two. Grade two. Yes. Uh -huh. So this when now my mind came up and I was like, hey, that, that slap, I think it was God sent slap. Mm -hmm. Because actually I saw myself in another world. Because she slapped me and the mind flipped. I was like, oh, now I'm number last, you know? So from there, now the, the coming exam, uh -huh. I, I like now I said, my cousin, let my cousin be my cousin mm -hmm. and let me focus on my studies because now no more going to study to, to study from the sugarcane plantation. Yes, yeah. Ah, this boy came and I, I and now I never I realized there like tell me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Who you are, yeah. That time I came with good friends mm -hmm. because and now I started creating friends choosing good yeah, friends. creating good good friends. Mm -hmm. Like the, this friend of mine, I usually mention his name, Jackson Sabayo and uh, Joel Masiaga. Mm -hmm. So we used to, I, now those became my new friends because mm -hmm. they used to be top five, top yes. ten, top number one sometimes. Uh -huh. So I could go borrow books from them. They, uh -huh. they realized this boy has a potential. Uh -huh. So I became friends to them. Mm -hmm. And trust me not, guys, from being number 72 out of 73 mm -hmm. to number six what? in class. I swear before Christ. Because now I realize myself, in the second coming exam, I came number six with, with, with 400 and, uh, and so, one. So let's, yes. let's say yes. the madam who gave you a slab. very good slab it did working. a very good job. Actually, that's why I usually tell you, sometimes when you see you are in a bad circumstance, mm -hmm. know that is the breakthrough. Wow. But if you are getting things without, without any challenge, mm -hmm. no, they'll just go away the way they came. But that slab, mm -hmm. it awakened me up. And till today, I usually tell people, surround, the, your surroundings determines who you are. Very true. If you surround yourself with people who, who always love to lie, yeah. you'll be the next big liar. Yeah. If yeah. you surround the people who, 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 who are always honest. are honest yes. and they are straightforward, mm -hmm. know that you are the next best honest person. Very true. So that gave me a breakthrough mm -hmm. till I did my uh, my exam mm -hmm. uh, KCP. for KCP and mm -hmm. other stuff till to date. Mm -hmm. So I went to secondary school because I was called in a, a big high school. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, my, my because of the background where financial I come from, status. financial status, they told me to repeat a class. Mm -hmm. And that made me to go to a depression where I told them it's better I stop school. And my dream because of my late aunt who used to pressure me, mm -hmm. not to pressure me, but to pray for me, you'll become a doctor. Mm -hmm. He used to buy me 
doctor stuffs like white clothes when he see something in regarding with doctorate he should brought it to me and i was like oh my god but when she died my dream died oh. i i remember i was always wanted to be like go away from my family because i wanted to go to a school which has a a, a place where you can learn chemistry mm -hmm. and a place where a school which has a laboratory mm -hmm. so to cut the long story, story short i went to a school but after people have gone to school yeah. because there was no financial status mm -hmm. like man it's, it's god's grace man sure. me being here where i am today mm -hmm. it's it, by it, god i've grace. seen the hand of god mm -hmm. because now my parents gave up they told me okay if you can't if you if if, we, we, if you can't do what we call like we, if you can't repeat a class mm -hmm. then we have given up on you and i was like it's okay I used to come to Nyabohanse. I I'm a good barber. I can shave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was like, shaving is not what I am. I am man. Mm -hmm. Shaving is not what I am. Mm -hmm. One full term, people have come, have gone to school. To they have school, studied. Yes. So the friends who we used to, behind. yeah, the friends who we studied with them together, mm -hmm. man, you pursued very well. Why are you at what home? What happened? The ones who failed every day they are at school. school. But me, who scored well, I'm back at home. I was like, man, I never give up. I'll Whoa. never give up. I raised little money, little money by shaving. Sometimes go to Masons. Okay. I, I ask men, let me, because you are a Mason, let me, yes. I, 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 I make you friendship so that when you get a job, yeah. I can be they your hand. You. I, I can be your handman mm -hmm. also. So that's how everything went on well. Mm -hmm. So, in uh, because my brother was working on the other side of Tanzania, he mm -hmm. sent money to this. He raised money and sent it to this side. Mm -hmm. And my mom, first time when he went. He, he sent 6,000 Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. And now I gave up because now it was, I decided that school would be school. They took me to a school nearby here in the border of Kenya and Tanzania. Mm -hmm. At that time, the school was, uh, I can say they did KCP three times. Mm -hmm. So I went there and my mom talked with the deputy. And trust me not, the deputy said, uh, I could have helped you. But now the money you have is very little. Oh. Yes, this can buy. Do you know 6000 is the yes. is only buying uniform. Yeah. It's Very only true. buying uniform but yeah. so the people said this money even if I balance it it How? cannot. How? This is only for uniform. Mm -hmm. If you could have paid even 3000 or 4000 for fee, I could have started thinking allow about it. You, How yeah. how could I allow you and the principal know this? So you go look for another money. My friend, I came back home. Oh my god. Now that is now the first time people have come they have closed school come and then went so mm -hmm. the entire first term i never studied anything but i remember this time where i used to to, to take the books of my brothers who who used to study mm -hmm. so i could go to your box study about the form one stuff mm -hmm. and other stuff what's going on around and also because it was a day school i could in the evening time at at four mm -hmm. because i know now at four pupils are coming yeah, the students are coming, coming i could go and now start being with them and uh, ask them what they learned. You know, now they're giving that pressure. Oh, today, mm. our teacher, you know, we're serving at school. We are eating porridge from school. I was like, man, oh. when, when? Do you know when how? You like do you know that? how porridge and mandazi slap at school? So they're giving Very you. Sweet. They're, no, they're giving you that. Much, and I was like, oh my god. Uh -huh. There's a time I, com I I almost committed suicide. Oh my god. In my room, trust me not, because of school. So I was like, I just hung the rope. And uh, I could sleep every day looking at it. I cry. I, I finish studying mm -hmm. because I don't know what I'm studying and come back and look at the rope and cry. I'm like, should I commit to that? Because now my other brothers have gone to school. They have finished their term. Why only me when it reaches and there's no money? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my God. And uh, there's a good friend by the name Stedla Juma. Mm -hmm. He came and realized there's a rope. Mm -hmm. So in, your room. in my room, he went and rushed and told her mom, the mom so the mom came and talked to me and talked to me told me cloud what you who saw this i remember juma was in my room mm -hmm. so i just get i just dropped the rope and uh, i said it is it is what it is so as i was raising money i added money to the money that mom mom was sent yeah. so the crazy the craziest way to make the story so sad my mom has already ate used 2000 from ah. the money. <laughs> he yes. has already used the money. So the mom was staying home. The more they were taking for her home and expenses, spending, yeah. home expenditures. And I was like, I'm now done. First term by the end, now we are ending the, the term. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the good Samaritan came now. Oh. 
Also, my brother sent another money. Mm -hmm. Now it became 12,000. Mm -hmm. Now, because I was also saving, I was yeah. saving around 2,000, I added. But I was I was very, very bad in heart. Like, I was, was hurt, so man. Bitter. Very bitter. Mm -hmm. So I went, and because the... I used to love history and chemistry mm -hmm. because mathematics wasn't my portion, honestly mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. I used to love English, history, mm -hmm. and chemistry. Mm -hmm. So those are the books that I used to go through, 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 through. Mm -hmm. So by that time when I went back to school, I went with my best Sunday best. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I yeah, imagine. I, <laughs> I went with my Sunday best <laughs> to school. Mm -hmm. So I was like, eh. So I was given a very baggy... Very big, big, <laughs> big trolls. I was like, oh my god! Oh, it was in type star. <laughs> you, you list very big. My shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was like, me as long as I'm in school. So <laughs> I went the second time. The second trial was accepted. Mm -hmm. Now we are approaching the end of first first time. So I went there mm -hmm. and uh, I was welcomed. I was given uh, a desk mm -hmm. and uh, a, a locker and a chair. Mm -hmm. Now I was welcomed. It was lunch serving time. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. I don't know where I can start serving. So that time I went, like, I never ate. So pupils have come back to class. They found me sitting. I saw a madam teacher coming with papers. Today, as I told you, it's a cut. Oh, my God. It's a random assessment test that you have to do so that they do, they do, and then they, they sum Combine. up together. Yeah. By the end of the term, That's they give you. Sense. So madam came and was like, I'm seeing a new face here. I told them, yeah, I'm new. And he asked, can you do the exam? Will you do? I said, yes, I can do. So, you had that confidence. I had that attitude date. I, I, I usually say confidence is the key. Everything. Confidence is the key. Wow. I'll give you a story about traveling. Uh -huh. After yes, finishing we, this. Yes, we want to finish this one. Traveling, so interesting. traveling actually, and confidence. Uh -huh. It's number one you should put in your face. Yes. If even I say, say what is you? Then you, you return to me. Like, you have to be that confident. Yes. Never shall you put a fearing face. Yeah. So, I said, yes, I can do it. Oh, I've been teaching these things. You have never been in class. How I told do them, you manage? I said, madam, if, even if I get zero, it's no okay. problem. So, every class was looking at me. Yeah? They were because, wondering. <laughs> because I had around four, four, four students mm -hmm. who we schooled together. And mm -hmm. they were laughing at me. They knew very well that I'll score zero. <laughs> because you have I've, never been, I've never been in school. school. I've, I've never yeah. even studied. I've never studied. Yes. But in my mind, it's like... In the first introduction, I mastered the introduction, like mm -hmm. what is history, uh, two types of, uh, I don't know, government and mm -hmm. all things. Yes. So they were on my head, I was like, if they bring that, I'll I will do. score. <laughs> Trust me, not me. I prayed before, you know, an exam, <laughs> before I do, I used to pray. So the madam came, sat immediately in front of me, in front of me this way. So I saw the to first, see yeah, to see if I can copy, steal. if I yeah, can steal. So the someone. first question, ah, I slapped, I know this. The second question, that I was like, okay. So it's what, definitions. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote. So the, the second, because we are in, in high school, you have to sit first, second. Yes. First, second. In the middle, you have to sit three of you. Yeah. So I had somebody like pinching me this way. I was like, what's up? Help me number three. I was like, ah, bro, How you have, can I help you? Bro, you have been in class yes. for the last two to three months. Me, I'm just coming here. Today, only you one know, day. I was like, I'm not selfish. I, uh. I flipped the paper because the <laughs> madam was concentrating, was concentrating on the phone. So the boy was copying. Uh. Democratic, I don't know what, what. Uh. I was like, okay. So we submitted the papers. Uh -huh. so the madam like, took my paper and put it aside because she saw... I've written and I've never been in class. She's, so she was like, how? How? She started marking my paper from there. And she separated my paper from other papers. So after that, she went. The following day, a time, like, a time like the same time we did the exam, uh -huh. she is having my paper on the other side and she's having the other papers. And So she selected papers in three, in three portions. Yeah. My paper... The papers who have scored zero, the papers who have scored moderate, and the papers who have scored high. Uh -huh. So I was among us the papers who have scored high. What? I'm telling you, everybody who scored below me, because it was out of 30. Yes. And I remember very well, without a lie, I scored uh -huh. half of it. That is 15 out, out of 30. 30. The first person had 21. The second person had 18. The third person was Claude Joseph. What? Trust me not. 
Even the, the students who studied with them in school, yeah. they were below me, 14 behind. So she said, 14 behind, if you know you had 14, trust me, imagine a, school of, a, a class of 46 students. I was among the four people who have scored high. Who scored 14 downwards? Oh my God. They were beaten I like. <laughs> the punishment. <laughs> so, was, so Madame loved me. They said they were beaten like yeah. Murukenges. Murukenges. <laughs> the Madame loved me and he told me you can do better. Since that time, I loved history. I used to be the best in best in history. At least that time, I scored almost every, everything. Everything. Everything in Form 3. Oh my. So I loved history and I, now that's everything how everything went. Now let's go back now to school, to YouTubing. Because oh I've given God. you my little background story, <laughs> how everything is. So the yes. life wasn't that easy, guys. You have yeah. learned. That's why you should say in every story you yeah. see online or in everyone's situation, there must be a very painful story. Absolutely. Not everyone who has a very painful story. Some of them, they have a, a good story. A good start and a bad ending, a bad start and a good ending. So if you see these people online, uh, online content creators, they have gone through a lot. If Absolutely. they share with you, I know Claude Joseph won't share everything, Absolutely. but if they really share everything with you, yes. you will cry. And sometimes we usually say like uh, in social media, yes. don't put everything. I, on, yeah, on the sometimes level. they will use it against you. And remember the school was a day school. <laughs> yes. So boarding, you used to board from, from three, uh -huh. but when now we entered from two, mm -hmm. I asked a question, I went to the teacher, told him, teacher, for sure mm. I've, i'm tired of finishing my shoes and i know very well if the <laughs> shoes will finish i want to be bought another shoes <laughs> i want to be bought another shoes <laughs> so please Thank can you, you uh, can you allow me being here uh, i remember a good friend came gave me a mattress uh -huh. the second one gave me a blanket and when this the form fours were leaving somebody gifted me a box uh -huh. so i'm already in a boarding person <laughs> and Trust Your me, wish not. Was granted. One dollar made me to survive in the entire whole, 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 whole term. I was given a hundred Kenyan shillings, in which I as only, pocket as pocket man, I only took twenty shillings, and a soap, a bar soap that like this, mm -hmm. I never used it, because now from there I was, uh, because I'm not bragging. I used to be the cleanest boy mm -hmm. in school. When I entered from one, from two. From one end term uh, of the term three, I was uh, given a, a prefect, sanita sanitation prefect, like dealing with the environment or anything, yes. sanitation. If today I come and I found you that you have to have a punishment. So by that time, I, I had that privilege of of girls telling me, oh, Cloud, today we should wash for you. Cloud, uh, don't worry, I'll the buy for you, man. That, so <laughs> that advantage. So I kept on being clean and my soap that I came with it in school, you I went to. back with home. And my mom was like, we bought you this soap. I don't even, I've never used this soap. I, I used 20 shillings only in that money. I came back with my 80 shillings. Oh my God. Because every single day. You were day, very fat. I was very, I'm telling you, I've survived in favor. Oh my and, uh, God. And now it's when now everything went on well. Uh -huh. Until to now, I have the box that was gifted. <laughs> <laughs> you still have it? At home, man. At home. At home. So after there, now after I finished my school, I said I cannot, because I never scored that much. Mm -hmm. I was almost to the university, but. Mm -hmm. You missed the I missed few points. one point. One point. One point. Yeah, uh -huh. one point. Actually, it was a uh -huh. uh, forty. I had forty-five, and it was going to forty-six. 46. C plus. Oh, just so one point. I was like, okay, it's okay, uh -huh. it's okay. So, I my my dad also told me to repeat. I said I'll never repeat because if I go back, it's the same same mistake I can do. So I I ventured into my hawking ho eventing situations. Uh -huh. I thank God. First, I started acting books. Uh -huh. Now I, my mind was like, I want to be like Kanumba. Uh -huh. I started acting books like uh, I, I, I thank God I had these Tamasha arts and symbols and mm -hmm. lyrics mm -hmm. that companies that acted with them set books. I could yes. act, read a set book, cram it, uh -huh. like understand and I can now become the, the character. Uh -huh. So we did it for some few months in schools and then I saw they were not paying me well because every every every, every act would be paid the 500 shin. Yeah. yeah, 500 shin. Yeah, 500. And I was like, this is not... This, this money this is not is, enough, man. I remember also, I just left home mm -hmm. and I'm renting. This is not enough for mm -hmm. me. So I, 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 there's a good friend 
who we used to go with them in the same church mm -hmm. told me my husband uh, has a shop on the other side mm -hmm. so it's you can be helping him to vent stuffs mm -hmm. so I went there and he taught me how to vent stuffs wow. like with a motorbike mm -hmm. until I stood on my own you know it's a long story that I'm cutting yeah, it short yeah, yeah. so I was vending keeping the man and he's paying me 5,000 mm -hmm. Kenyan shillings and you're making a very hard the one. The whole month? The whole month, 5,000 Kenyan shillings. Trust me not, I swear before Christ. Oh, and I was like, oh man, this is much for me. So I used to keep, go vend, mm -hmm. and if today I get a customer who is new, I'll tell him, uh, this price, if I've been told to send to sell it at uh, 250, mm -hmm. let me do it at 270. I started from 300. Mm -hmm. If if he give it to me, three hundred fifty is bo Bob is mine, yeah. or twenty Bob is mine, yes. and then the other one for the boss. Yeah. So that's how I knew how what business is. Wow. Now I, I, as I was saving, mm -hmm. I knew that like I start to do. I have to ask because a customer asks you mm -hmm. what the boss doesn't have, and I know very well I'm being given this opportunity to go and take things in bulk. Mm -hmm. Why can't I use my savings mm -hmm. to go ask the customers what they lack, mm -hmm. what my boss doesn't sell, mm -hmm. so that I go, I buy it also in bulk, yes, then I break sell it. sell them back. So my business that was the customers, because my boss used to fear the, the prices of it, mm -hmm. because you have to cross by to Tanzania. So I used to go buy them, mm -hmm. and while I'm arranging my boss luggage, mm -hmm. I have to keep them also in my in the same same box. Mm -hmm. So I could go vend, I find myself selling more than my boss items so it was like it's a real deal uh -huh. so i became independent the time that he realized because uh -huh. now the same same customers that we were sharing with him because he introduced me to to them uh -huh. started telling them that oh your boy brings us uh, your good stuffs so he started to realize oh now this boy has gotten uh, his own stance uh -huh. he told me man me i'm leaving you with this motorbike but uh, you'll be paying me uh -huh. little by little but stand on your own now uh -huh. So I said it's no problem because a, a good dad is the one who teaches you how to fish yes. and tells you and gives not you a rod. Who gives no, but not somebody who don't give you a fish and chase you away. Yeah. <laughs> so I thank him and he gave me the motorbike. I started vending on my own. Now I ventured into rice mm -hmm. and cereals. Now starting from selling mali mali, the small things, sweets and mm -hmm. other stuff, pen and uh, you know, school stuffs. I ventured into business now buying tan of rice. Mm -hmm. Shifting it from Tanzania to the lake side. Mm -hmm. I went there and some of... Now you know I was balancing YouTube also with this. Oh, at the same at time? At the same time. So there is where some good friends came. Oh, you are doing business. Oh, this is this. So remember, take me two times. Uh, I'm one year old on YouTube and I'm having 44 subscribers. 44? <laughs> oh my yeah, God. 44. <laughs> 44. And I never gave up. I never gave up. <laughs> I never gave up. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, it's fine. So mm -hmm. the rice, the rice, so it reached a point where now mm -hmm. there was uh, these political issues, which I never mentioned, I'll never try to mention because it's kind of sensitive. Yeah. So somebody asked me, bring me rice worthy this money. So it was around 60,000 Kenyan shillings. Wow. And that's a lot of money. Yeah. Hey. So I brought him, he paid me a half. And there's also another person who asked me the same, same trick. Mm -hmm. Pay me, I have now you have built what we call like confidence yes, with the customers yeah, and yeah. honest and trust with Very So true. you give them on credit so that they pay. Uh -huh. Trust me not. You lost. I lost everything. Everything. Oh my so I, I, I had now what we call like to go back to square zero. I came back home. I started YouTubing and uh, I, I, we were doing videos with David Junior. Yes. I started growing my channel. I started growing my channel. Mm -hmm. I reached at 1K. And at 1K, there's a video that I did recent on the other side it had 5000 plus k views wow. it was a long video of almost two hours mm -hmm. watch hours already so me at 1k you got I'm, monetized at 1k i got monetized wow. in the second month i'm having my dollars i was like eh this is not this the is the deal. real deal <laughs> the real deal uh -huh. so i was like i first time i went to nairobi mm -hmm. Uh, I started shooting some videos. Then now you know having some subscribers. Yes. So you have the numbers. There are those who are reaching out to you, calling you directly. Mm -hmm. So do this, yeah, do that. this, do this. Yeah. So someone said, uh, I'll wish you to visit Mombasa. I'll pay everything for you. Mm -hmm. A big shout out to you. You have wow. been supporting us so much. Wow. May Almighty wow. God bless you abundantly. Wow. So she said, okay, I want, I want you to go to this place. I was like, I've never been. I like, you know, by that time I used to 
to there's a time that I used to be in Mombasa, mm -hmm. but now I'm like I'm going there. I don't know who is who is who. Yeah. I was like I have to go because there was a friend of mine who is schooled also with mm -hmm. he was in Mombasa. I reached out to him to oh I host you. Mm -hmm. So I went to Mombasa. Now life started changing, man. Mm -hmm. My 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 like yes. Continue. My my life started changing. So I was like, oh my good, mm -hmm. oh my god. Mm -hmm. So this is how life is. I'm going to the beach. I ca I can spend money and I still have the money. Yes. I'm like, oh, this is it. So YouTube paying you over a hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and. On that time from back, you are being to be paid five thousand. I was like, this is the deal. Me, I'll die, die, die with this YouTube. Even if it's not pay me, so I have to keep pressing. I have to keep pressing. Uh -huh. So there's a time mm -hmm. where a subscriber, may Almighty God bless you. You know, they like me. Everything I actually thank subscribers. Mm -hmm. They encouraged me. That we say empowerment now. Yeah. Where they tell you, if you do this every day, I'll buy you this. Wow. So I was like, oh really? I started pushing. Like, if you put two videos a day in the whole month, I'll buy your laptop. I was like, oh, oh my God. I, oh, only two videos. Only. I could put even three videos a day. <laughs> bow, bow, you, bow. you went beyond the expectations. I went beyond the expectations. Oh my God. It remained like two days so that we can end the month. <laughs> He said, I've seen the hard work. I've seen the hard work. I, I think that person, yes. what he did, he yes. was kind of motivating, motivating you, yeah, encouraging you, empowering, empowering yeah, empowering. so that you can work hard. Yeah, you I can think your he was links. the best, or she was the best. I really appreciate yes. you. She may almighty God bless mm -hmm. you. Actually, she has supported me from scratch. scratch. Zero, oh zero, zero. My. She was the first supporter, like, oh. who, who, who realized who Cloud is yeah, until today. Yeah, yeah. May Almighty God bless you. Because may I want God to keep her name anonymous. Yeah, it's anonymous. May Almighty God bless you. I know you understand and you know yourself that who I, you are. I think I'm going to cut this short yes. to show the appreciation Absolutely. from Proud Joseph. Thank you so and much, ma'am. bless you. I, I'll call you ma'am. Yes. Thank you so much. Be blessed always. Yeah. She paid the first flight. Wow. Now I remember from my laptop. She told me now, you are, because now I, en, I, en, I en, enrolled now uh -huh. to Eldoret now school. Wow. So I was like, I'm going to study a film and TV production. Wow. I was like, no, this is the deal. For a short course of three months. So she paid a flight from Nairobi to Eldoret. My first flight. Oh now there's where people start, my village people, the people who even you like... You have become like, a millionaire. Like, eh, 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 <laughs> eh. I was now receiving calls. <laughs> Are you really the one who is at the airport? I was like, yes. And that time, <laughs> my flight was to be due at two. <laughs> I went in the airport at six in the morning. Hey, crowd! I, I, <laughs> I think that's happiness. I swear, the happiness. Six. Six. Oh my God! And you know, in the airport, they usually restrict not to film. Yes. How lucky was I? Uh -huh. I was told film wherever you want. Yes. If anybody asks you, come to me. Those are the two police commissioners who told, wow. who who guided there. Told me, oh, you are a YouTuber. With oh man, you do this. You feel him anywhere, mm -hmm. and if anybody asks you, come, I tell them that's what I told me mm -hmm. to feel him. I was like, oh God, this is it where Mr. Rudy and others are being, are being apprehended. Are being apprehended. Yeah, <laughs> that's <a> JKA. <laughs> They're being apprehended here not but to feel him. But you are free to But we are free to feel him. I think, Crow Joseph, you were upon a, a blessed son. I'm always that's feeling so blessed. Yeah. I'm so blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm so blessed. Mm -hmm. So, like, no filming in the airport. Uh -huh. I film videos, film yes. videos. Uh -huh. my, 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 my time of uh, the flight due now started like oh, calling, so I went. Uh -huh. So I went, I thanked that officer. I said, oh, thank you so much. Some uh -huh. days when I come back. But usually when I go, I like to buy him soda, but he's not there. Uh -huh. <sighs> Me, that's now my, my fear. Uh -huh. What if this plane fell from this? This, this oh was a jumbo God. jet. <laughs> So now Jumbo Jet, I was like, oh man. What now you know it? everybody now, eyes on me. Uh -huh. Eyes on me. Burundian traveler, we knew each other when we were at two, 200 subscribers. Uh -huh. He's like, my brother, you have made it, bro. You have made it. Give me the secret. Oh my God. You have made it, bro. You uh -huh. have made it. I was uh -huh. like, bro, it's it's life. Uh -huh. It's life, actually. Uh -huh. And the good thing is when me, I started being gifted, like gifts of life, uh -huh. and, being, um, uh, and being known, maybe being supported, uh -huh. 
I never had that ego, egocentric, mm -hmm. or leaving friends who used mm -hmm. to be them because they're down now. Me, I'm yes, up. Yeah. I've never done so. Wow, make up. Till to date. Mm -hmm. Till to date. So they used to call me, me, I pick. Sometimes I call them, I tell them, man, it's life, it's God. Mm -hmm. It's God. You know, yeah, it's, it's God, God man. It's <laughs> yeah. God, was yeah. that, That's yeah. what is our anthem. So I went, I went to school. Mm -hmm. She bought me in the laptop. I told oh, her, as I said, now remember, now it's double. Yeah. A flight, and a, a laptop. train. A train from from Nairobi to Mombasa, from Mombasa back to Nairobi uh, for my flight, flight to the Eldoret, from Eldoret and Uber to school. Imagine that! that Who can life. do that? Who can group, do that? Group, now yeah. you know very well you're filming it. Yes. Everybody else is seeing you. Mm -hmm. Now even my parents started calling me. Can you send us small money? And I'm like, oh my goodness! I wish you knew. <laughs> I wish you knew. <laughs> and me, I've never acted rich. <coughs> I've never acted rich. Mm -hmm. Because even people see my personality, they say, Cloud, you are rich, but I've never acted rich. Mm -hmm. Because most poor people like me sometimes, mm -hmm. they act rich. Yeah, but true. according to my presence, mm -hmm. when I meet people, they say, Cloud, you are rich. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate it. I say, yes, I'm rich. Because mm -hmm. if I have a life, that yes. means you're rich. Yeah. And if you are healthy, that means you are when rich. When I'm broke down to earth, mm -hmm. when I'm up, mm -hmm. you, you never know, rich, Cloud. Yeah. I'm just the way I am. Mm -hmm. So I went to school, I started doing my other styles. There's also an opportunity now where I used to, you know me, like if I used to watch other people. Mm -hmm. So I went to Uganda. Uh, before now I went to Uganda. Mm -hmm. I finished my course, I got my certificate. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh God, be blessed. Mm -hmm. uh, having my certificate, even if I go anywhere, mm -hmm. I can have this. Mm -hmm. So friends invited me in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can go. So while going on the other side, a friend of mine who was a subscriber by the name Masi Empire told me, yeah, I I'm, know Masi. She's I'm, I'm, heading, I'm heading to Uganda. Uh -huh. And I heard you, you mentioned in your life that you're going to Uganda. Uh -huh. A free lift to Uganda. Wow. So I crossed by to Uganda, free without paying anything. Oh my so my starting, the study of, of traveling uh -huh. started there. With Uganda. With Uganda. That's, now, that's now your first country. My, fat, my first country uh -huh. was Uganda. Uh -huh. So I went to Uganda, I was welcomed well because we lived there at night. Mm -hmm. I remember at that time I changed money, I had around uh, 120 Ugandan, 120,000 mm -hmm. Ugandan shillings. Mm -hmm. uh, you are rich. I'm rich, man. I'm rich in Uganda. Uh -huh. So I reached there, we paid the room. Mm -hmm. uh, with my host, my host now, they were at the hotel because they wanted to take me to home, but it was late. Mm -hmm. we, I booked a room, mm -hmm. they booked their room, mm -hmm. Masi booked her room. Mm -hmm. It was at 20,000 Ugandan shillings. Mm -hmm. We woke up, we paid. And uh, life was usual. Mm -hmm. uh, life was nice at the start, the first week. Mm -hmm. The second week, life was good. Mm -hmm. Now, I never knew there is where life could change <laughs> into square zero. <laughs> This life can, can slap you one slap <laughs> and you turn go back to zero. Oh my. So there is where I don't know what happened mm -hmm. because now we stopped paying in the hotel, we went back home mm -hmm. where everything broke into hell. That was 2022, mm -hmm. uh, around April. Mm -hmm. Things broke into hell, man. My new laptop, I was bought a camera. I had specs that I was sent by a friend from USA. Mm -hmm. They were very light, light foot, mm -hmm. very nice specs. Mm -hmm. In daytime like now, you see they are bluish. Mm -hmm. At night, they change also the color. So they used to change the environment. Mm -hmm. So man, my, my handbag, my clothes, my shoes. Where I, you know, as a traveler, now you understand. Yeah, yeah, of the traveler. I, yeah. uh, I was drugged, like fumigation. They fumed, they, they fumed the room, my phone, my everything block into hell it was a uh, saturday yes. now the morning on a sunday things broke into hell where i lost everything i nearly lost my life in uganda i nearly lost my life i i usually say like i usually see sometimes mm -hmm. I, I when i flash back my head goes back i'm like oh my god thank you for saving my life because I, I after i've shot the video of eating ugandan food i have edited i put it to encode now upload i was now the process of like encoding i put my laptop to charge because i used to wake up early at four to put everything stuff in okay so that it can premiere earlier man things went in a hell my new laptop hp ssd processor 2.9 very active quite yes. seven in class, in class in oh class in class used to be the best laptop 
and I was bought by a subscriber. I lost it. They left a charger. Till today, my charger is in my room as a souvenir. I usually look at it and say, oh God, you saved me. Claudio, let me ask you, what do you think happened? Maybe someone was following you or someone came from the hotel? You know, now we have left the hotel. Mm -hmm. It's like you now, you host me in your home. Yes. I usually don't love to give out this story out, mm -hmm. but most people pressure me to give out the story. Mm -hmm. It's like you hosting me, mm -hmm. and, and now I lost everything in your home. Everything. Oh, and you it. act like no victim. No, I got it. So my phone, my everything got lost. The phone, other phone that you see there, I was mm -hmm. bought in Uganda, worth one million four hundred, uh, one million four hundred something, or something seven hundred, mm -hmm. one million Ugandan shillings. Till to date, I keep it like it's my baby, like That's I usually cry. So I went to Uganda rich. Mm -hmm. I came out of Uganda poor. poor. So I came back. Now depression. You no, know, by the situation you'll be acting normal, but wait until you come back home. To reality now, you start flashbacking. You don't have your laptop. You are everything. Your you clothes. Almost, lost your ev life. almost nearly losing your life, my friend. Everything. We went to the police station with pajamas. Sorry. I've lost everything. So, but I love Uganda because one fish cannot make other fish yeah, to rot. To or one when an egg crack in a basket, mm -hmm. it's not all eggs that have cracked. So yeah. I usually love Uganda, and I love Uganda because it opened eyes to me. Sure. It told me like you have taught to be you so. A, a lesson. It taught me a lesson. It told me mm -hmm. you have to be so vigilant while you are traveling. Mm -hmm. You have to have a third eye. When the deal is so sweet, think twice. You know, crowd, that that's the same thing yesterday yes. when I was going back to uh, Sirari. Yes. I boarded a, a boda boda. Yes. There were three people, Boda, three guys from Boda Boda. I think they were coming from Igori. Yes. You know, one uh, I boarded one. Yes. After reaching a, a certain point, it was too dark. I saw them signaling each oh. other. Oh. You know what I did? I said, oh my God, I forgot something. Hispania, yes. oh. the junction to the school. Yes. You know, that, uh, that it was around 10. Yes. Now tell me if I had no third eye that, i was to be robbed yesterday you could be robbed yesterday oh absolutely my God. so that's like sometimes when i feel like i flash back and i'm like god we are the people with the same 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 eyes mm -hmm. we are the people with the, we as human beings but a human being can become an animal in a few minutes now we crowding my worry is did yes. you explain to your followers or to whoever who put now, you the laptop the, now there's this time where i was off for the, nearly an, a week, we are now people asking me is cloud because now we did live streams on on their channels because they also YouTubers. Mm -hmm. But if but when subscribers reach out to tell them please post clouds uh, uh, details, they put their own details uh. and uh, everything. So people reached out to buy for me other new stuffs, mm -hmm. but till to date I've never seen it. They said send me some tracking numbers and some tracking other stuff so that I, because they thought maybe I bought in second hand, I, mm -hmm. I sent them everything. Mm -hmm. Till today I've never had any, any feedback from them that uh, you, for, we found our, your staffs mm -hmm. and uh, they have never showed up. Mm -hmm. And I, I came to realize after one month where subscribers started sending me some emails that, oh, we sent this so, so, so money, we sent this and this. Did you receive us? I have never received anything. Uh, till to date, I'm, I'm laptopless, and I was like, okay, some days I want to buy a laptop, but uh, yeah. it still hit me back when I, it was my new laptop, it hasn't even finished and two months, and it was a gift, and it was a gift. you have day. been robbed, and people pretend as if nothing happened, so I was like, that was the limelight, but I never regret, mm -hmm. but uh, it taught me a lesson where, yeah, you have, I love Ugandans, mm -hmm. because I love Ugandans, but the main reason, yeah, the main reason, be yeah, very careful, absolutely, when you are traveling, yes. even if you are with friends, that's why yeah. I always say, treat everyone as a suspect, yes. because you don't know even me, I don't know you, you know, yeah. we can be friends, but you don't know my intentions, absolutely. so guys, let's always be free, and don't take this uh, video and miss interpret yeah, please and we haven't yeah. mentioned anyone his absolutely, name absolutely. and we haven't said anything. anything you know people are good at uh, misinterpreting uh, yeah for sure me I, no. I, I give i give it i give i give them like mm -hmm. uh, I just an iron goover, move out because yeah. I know even if they use the information uh -huh. no problem i'm i'm or i'm be, remain be cloud uh -huh. i'll be cloud with my honesty because they usually say mm -hmm. 
people who are on for you to be the most dangerous weapon in Kenya is for you to be honest. Honest, yeah. The, Very the true. most dangerous weapon it can kill you. Mm -hmm. Being honest in Kenya it can, it kill, can you. kill you. So me is the rather I die mm -hmm. on truth rather yeah. than on lies. on lies. So that's what happened mm -hmm. and now I came back home I started like the little man I had them on my bank account mm -hmm. see no more traveling let me focus on my construction of my house mm -hmm. I constructed my house mm -hmm. I started doing some stuff sometimes mm -hmm. now I'm acting as if I'm okay mm -hmm. but, but my body okay. now started reacting ah. you know there's a situation where your body will start reacting mm -hmm. like you have no appetite you are always sad you cannot like your mind is always thoughtful like Mm -hmm. If you are being given a story mm -hmm. and you give out another story. Sure. So my friends started reacting out, why is how it's happening to Cloud? Mm -hmm. My body started turning out like mm -hmm. wearing out. Where you are you, you used to be Jutes. and now you are like mm -hmm. so they said, What is wrong with you until I shared out my story and mm -hmm. stuff went on the other side. I mean, on that time also my, my friend Brunjan Traveller was coming on this other side. Mm -hmm. He's a brother to me. Mm -hmm. Stuff's like like he was stuck at the border. Mm -hmm. I was the only because people promised him, mm -hmm. oh, when you come, we will host you. When you come, we will do this. Mm -hmm. Because they knew very well he's this poor guy mm -hmm. who, even if he come by this place, mm -hmm. or he won't make it to yeah, this place. Very true. So, you know, there's those people make fake promises yeah. because they know you they can't want make to it. They disappoint you. Yeah, because yeah. They, can't, you, they know very well you can't make it. Mm -hmm. If then somebody tells you, you come to America, I'll host you. Come to America. They disappear. I'll they everything switch off you their phones. <laughs> until now, you come, you go to America and you find no friend. No friend. That's what happened to my brother. Brother Brundi and travel. Mm -hmm. He that, that time I was undergoing the same situation. Mm -hmm. He reached at the border where he called people who were promising him their life stream. When you come, we take you around, we'll host you. No nobody. Word. Nobody. I was the only person to leave my job with the Mason, mm -hmm. run to the border, mm -hmm. go solve everything. Because mm -hmm. by that time he came with nothing, totally nothing. I, I help and uh, I thank God it was a breakthrough. Oh. He, he, he is now who he is now. Oh, he's, he's standing on his YouTuber, own. Yeah. He's a big YouTuber. Yeah. So that's when the time now, everything now, we started traveling with him also. Mm -hmm. After he went to Nairobi, came back. Mm -hmm. After he also he shared. Now that's what I told you. Keep a friend. Tell a friend. I'll tell you who a friend is. Mm -hmm. Now because me, I spoke well on him and also my subscribers. Mm -hmm. So there's a time he came and he realized I'm, I'm undergoing something inside. Mm -hmm. So he had a subscriber who used to help him very, very, very much. Mm -hmm. So he also mm -hmm. shared my story mm -hmm. and told him, it's good to share, it's good to, you can also help Cloud because you are helping me. You can also help Cloud on this other end mm -hmm. because for now, things, his, are, not things okay. are not okay. Because as he shared this to the, to the subscriber, mm -hmm. The subscriber also reached out to me and told me what's going on around. Mm -hmm. So we became like all now we are brothers family. still today. We are family. Mm -hmm. I usually thank Almighty God for wow. for bringing him. Wow. If I couldn't have helped Brundian traveler, mm -hmm. also I couldn't be a traveler the way yeah, I am right now. Because true. now, even if it, I could be, it could have taken a little jo a little yeah, time. time. So f God always knows how how to. To, 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 to prepare a table mm -hmm. in front of your enemies. And that's why so I those don't yes, be selfish. Don't be selfish. Mm -hmm. So those who thought they have killed me mm -hmm. down to earth, they started seeing me sprouting, like growing, growing big. Growing big. Until there's a time that they, they always came to my to my live streams and, mm -hmm. and started commenting. When now I started growing, they see me oh. in Dubai, they see me going back to their country, they mm -hmm. see me on the other side. So they started comp like, yeah, I, I'm this guy. If it happened, it happened. Yeah, I cannot good. hold grudge. Mm -hmm. So stuff's going until to date. Me and Bruno and Trevor, we are brothers mm -hmm. and things are going on well. That's mm -hmm. why I told you, like, in this life, thou shall you reject somebody because wow. he, the rejected stones become the cornerstones of the foundation. If me, I could, I could have said, oh, no to Brundian. Oh, bro, you come, and then I switch off my phone. But I left everything behind and ran to go and help him. And in another way, he understood and he realized my help to him. Mm -hmm. He also <laughs> helped in another way. So we are here today, and I thank God for the good life and the gift of life. Create more friendship, but not enemy. You know, now, yes. I've learned to why 
some of us, our, our subscribers could wish to learn more about uh, our lives, yes, you know. Sure. Sometimes they Lifestyle, don't know what yeah. yeah, what we go through and not everyone, I think in this combo, not everyone who does lifestyle interviews. Sure. I think for our subscribers also they need to understand where we have come from sure. so that they can know who is Crowd Joseph, what you have gone through. And sometimes you get that you can go into depression yeah, without sharing with people. And depression is Yes, big. depression guys is Real. real depression can kill. Me, I was dying inside. If not Burundi and Traveler realized who oh. I was. Mm -hmm. Because now I've went bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of debts to pay. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 my brother and my sister are looking unto me. My sister is at school. Mm -hmm. My young brother, Mogendi the Dreamer, I'm the one who is to pay school fees for him. Mm -hmm. My sister is there, mm -hmm. I paying school fees for And you know very well the school fees for secondary school is not mm -hmm. a joke. Yeah. You're paying over $300 mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. My brother, used to, I used to pay for him 44000 oh in the school. Mm -hmm. My sister is, is over also for, for, for 40000 plus. Mm -hmm. And that's all is from Cloud Joseph. You have to hustle here and there. Too. Now depression came. I used to have a lot of hair, but my body is like 1 GB. Until when <laughs> you all know Burundi was like he knows what I'm going I'm undergoing, uh -huh. and also with him he has his own situation back at home, oh so there's no way he can help me and help on Without the other helping side. Himself. So you know, I but I realized everything was good, uh -huh. everything was nice till uh -huh. to date. Uh -huh. Where I am, I've seen the hand of God. God. I could have died a long time ago because of depression. Uh -huh. I'm this guy who I'm in. I'm an introvert of my own, uh -huh. but. Sharing out my story sometimes mm -hmm. is very hard. Yeah, and yeah. I think this is the first TV I've shared my story. Oh my God. Trust me not. Even when I was robbed, I came back mm -hmm. in, a, in my home. Mm -hmm. I never even mentioned if I'm robbed. I've never, I never... Nobody knows even my your family. Like, that's how cloud is. I told my family after now, it has hit me. In another way, I told them, me, I, I was robbed. That way, you see, nowadays I don't support you much. I was robbed everything. My other stuff went on well. Because if I could oh. tell them the same same situation, they could. I never wanted to. If I have my problem, mm -hmm. I want also to, to to lay, give you mm -hmm. my problems to you so that you can also have the problem. No, I want you to have your own environment mm -hmm. where you create peace. I have yeah. my own environment where I create peace. Mm -hmm. I come to tell you when now things are, have have now reached yes. me here. And I think that's the most problem. Sometimes people see why is cloud doing this? Mm -hmm. Why is cloud low? Why is Cloud not doing this? Because I think I, I, have, I have to change. Mm -hmm. I'm this guy, of a, an introvert of my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. So some days I'll be opening. The way I'm opening here, yeah. I'll be opening up. I know, I know most of the people I want to learn more yeah. from my channel, guys. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe to Supreme TV yes. and don't forget to subscribe to our brother, Crowd Joseph. Yes. I'm going to tag his name so that yes. you can click. He's doing an amazing job. Yes. And guys, you have heard, this is the first time he has shared this story. Okay. And this came from uh, our fans. Yes. But I like our fans. Yes. You know, sometimes the way I like, the reason I like them, they will tell you, you know what, Supreme? Yes. I want us now. I want you to do this. Yes. I want to learn about something. Now that's the best thing from our viewers. They are there to help you, to support you, to encourage you, to motivate you. You know, Crowd Joseph, our Kenyan, no, I'm not saying you guys are bad, but uh, our Kenyan people, they will never tell you what to do. Absolutely. You will never see such a comment. Yeah. But I think there are some people who are blessed, they want to be a blessing unto Absolutely. your life. Yeah. And guys, one thing I've learned from Crowd Joseph, Never be selfish. Absolutely. Never be selfish no, yeah. because at the end of the day, guys, we are all, we are, all, we are yes, we need, the way you want to be treated, yeah. treat the same person the way you yeah. could wish to be treated, yeah. guys. Because at the end of the day, if Crowd Joseph was a bad person to Brunian and Traveler, he could not have gotten the support from Brunian and Traveler's fans. Yeah. So, guys, Let's not be selfish. I've seen people saying like, oh, you know what, if you share the link, you do this, you, you are share, going yeah. to share. Most, most of, most of yeah. content creators, mm -hmm. they usually fear, oh, if, if I share out my subscribers. Yes. Uh, now they start developing what you call like hatred. Because yes. if they see the same supporter who used to support them, su yeah, are supporting, supporting you, you, they feel bad on yes. the other way, which Cloud has nothing. Me, my first supporters used to support me. Mm -hmm. 
I shared with them mm -hmm. one live stream that I shared with them to mm -hmm. Burundian Traveler and mm -hmm. I gave him chance to speak on his own mm -hmm. and they reached out to me mm -hmm. and I told them the whole story about my Burundian mm -hmm. Traveler mm -hmm. and his life changed wow. completely. Completely. You know, that's why so even I couldn't have uh -huh. that 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 uh, selfishness. bit of selfishness. I say yeah. like, oh, now he's this. I'm yeah. never. Because I knew I usually believe in karma. If you yes. do good, always good, good will come, come to, to you. you. If you do so, bad, yeah, bad you. They come and that's why yes. I took your screenshot. I shared yes. even in my status. Absolutely. You know why? I was that happy. Like, oh my yes. God, I've never seen this. Is something new. Absolutely. You know, some people they don't share. They just leave it like that. You know, uh, but Crowdy, yes. may God bless you. Thank you so much. I've seen something in you. You yes. are a good person. Someone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's okay. So, guys, we have learned a lot from. That uh, the yeah, that was the boss, guys. Even he was, he was telling to tell Cloud go show this how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, guys, I uh, hope uh, I'm also trying to get Mara so that we can do an interview. I know I haven't gotten that chance, but I know I promise you guys. We are going to do a video. So, guys, what I was saying, I've learned something from Crowd Joseph. Let's all learn something from him. If we be like Crowd Joseph, we're going to go very far. Absolutely. Am I lying? True story. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Mara keep on burning. Mm -hmm. It's like selfishness. Yes. If you are selfish to others, mm -hmm. that means you are selfish to you. Yes. And it, if one day, there's that what you call like a downfall. Mm -hmm. If you have a downfall, mm -hmm. The same same people who you used to deny mm -hmm. the access to you, mm -hmm. they'll not help you. Yeah. A valid story where there was a certain neighbor mm -hmm. who used, it's around here actually, mm -hmm. who used to have animals and he never allowed anybody to pass by his land. Mm -hmm. He fenced every Everywhere. place. Don't pass to my land. Uh -huh. You know the main road, don't pass here. So when thieves came mm -hmm. and they stole his animals mm -hmm. and he started crying, screaming oh come help come help mm -hmm. people, Nobody went. people gathered outside the compound uh -huh. outside and tell me you have closed everywhere where should we pass now where should we pass the, the animals are moving yes, yes we are seeing them where should we pass now uh -huh. that means selfishness uh -huh. if you are self to yourself uh -huh. and you are selfish to others you uh -huh. think about yourself only uh -huh. know that there's that downfall that you need others for your uplift uh -huh. Always be honest. Mm -hmm. Never be you as you by being selfish because mm -hmm. you know if you are sharing, you share it out, mm -hmm. people will eat bigger than you. Mm -hmm. No way. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if you lie today, know that the same lie will come to you. Very true. So the good thing is keep yourself clean by being honest. Mm -hmm. Keep yourself respecting others, mm -hmm. and because if you respect yourself, you're respecting others too. Mm -hmm. And if you are humble to act, or even God says, yes, he's my son or mm -hmm. he's my daughter. Mm -hmm. So this means if I couldn't have shared it to Burundian Traveler, mm -hmm. he couldn't have shared it. With you. Because the subscribers never knew even Marwa, never knew even Dim Wangu, mm -hmm. that he shared it to me mm -hmm. and he never became so, he never became jealous or he never became with, I name it, he never became angry because mm -hmm. the subscriber now helped me on the other side to grow bigger. Yeah, very true. We are always as brothers, and that's why I keep on appreciating him, and I keep on appreciating also Marwa and Dimwangu for, for, for keeping us mm -hmm. like this space, mm -hmm. for encouraging us, and mm -hmm. for telling us this is the way. So may Almighty God bless each and every person also who put a hand towards the support of each and every content creator. Mm -hmm. If I could be selfish also knowing myself, like, because everybody around here, mm -hmm. if you go ask, 90% of the YouTubers here. Mm -hmm. who, who monetized your channel? They'll tell it's you it's Cloud. cloud. Joseph, yes. Who did this? Cloud. Who, 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 your channel was going, who helped you to come it back? It's Cloud. Mm -hmm. So if I could be selfish now, let's say, bring money, help you. Yes. Bring money. It's just a zero, but I should say, see, mm -hmm. after that, fruits come. Mm -hmm. I help you 10 bob today. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, I have 20 bob. Wow, amazing. If I couldn't have shared it out, mm -hmm. I couldn't you have couldn't gotten have it. the same spirit of mm -hmm. man. If we couldn't spread arms to, to welcome yes. everybody, yeah. he couldn't have gifted this. Because mm -hmm. I usually know very well that mm -hmm. Marwa, the more he opened, the more he get. Very the same, same way, the, I'm trying to follow the situation where the more I open, the, the, more, more, I the more I get. Yeah. 
Thank wow. you so much. Guys. Amazing. Guys, I don't have to add in anything. Don't forget to subscribe to Crowd Joseph's channel. I'm going to share the link, guys. I know you are needed by our boss. So, guys, what I'm going to say is thank you so much for supporting us. May God bless you. May you never lack. May you never lack. I don't know if I can say a million times. Yes. And blessing, blessing to Ayamara and Ayamara's family. May they receive Blessings, blessings. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not around. Even the boss realized the crowd is not around. Yeah, Liana, he was looking for Guys, I saw his time. So, guys, what I'm going to say is bye. Yes, See you in our next, next video. Long.